Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. So in this video I'm going to make some fabric beads from scrap fabric like this. This is nothing new, it's been done a million times before, but I'll just show you how I do it. They're very easy to make, very quick and a lot of fun. So they just look like this and then what I did is I made these tassels. Here is a closer look. So they're really, really cute to use on journals and as tassels and things like that. So what I'll do is I'll make the beads and then I will make one of these tassels just so you can see uh, my process. All right, let's begin. Okay, so for the actual bead, you just need some scrap pieces of fabric. You need something to roll them onto and a glue. So I'm using tacky glue. This is really good for fabrics and things like that. So any glue that uh, is good for fabric will work. Even this glue, my favorite glue, it says fabric on the back. So you will see on your glue, it will uh, state what it's good for. You just want a glue that will glue down some fabric. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is cut my fabric. So I just, I don't measure anything. I just do, you know, whatever. Obviously, the wider you cut your fabric, the longer the bead. And the longer the fabric, the thicker the bead. I hope that makes sense. So I like my bead somewhat narrow, not too thick. And this is the piece that I'm going to use. So this piece is about an inch and a half wide by three inches long. And then I just like to taper off the ends a little bit, just like this. I could go to a point, but I feel like if I leave enough width here, then it's not going to peel off easy I guess when my bead is rolled. Okay the next thing I do is I'm using one of these uh, wooden skewers I think they're called you can use straws but the straws are quite thick so you will have a thicker opening uh, on the on your bead. So I just roll the first part like this I'm not gluing anything down I just kind of roll it a little bit just like that and then I add my glue and I just sort of put some glue here and there, make sure that there's enough glue up the top. And then I just roll the bead. There we go. It's as simple as that. I want to make sure that it's not glued onto this and that's coming out easy. Perfect. So you can just leave this as it is. But I like to add some sort of uh, trim or fiber around it just to give it a little bit more interest. So I went into my stash and pulled out some things. So something like this eyelash trim, some fun yarn like this one will do, something like this, some twine, whatever you've got in your craft room will work. So I'm going to use this one because I like the sparkly effect. So what I do... I grab my little bead, so I'm not waiting for anything to dry. And then I just wrap a little piece. So sometimes I tie a knot here, sometimes I don't, but today I will. I'll just tie a knot. Just right there in the middle. And you need to leave one part hanging, so when you finish wrapping, you have something to tie off with the other end. So the next thing I'm going to do, this is also optional. You can apply some glue right on top of the bead so that the fibers don't go anywhere. I don't always do that, but here we go. And then I just wrap it around. Really, really simple. Just wrap, wrap, wrap. All the way to the end. And then I come back to this little part here. There we go. They meet. And now, cut that off. And now I've got these two parts and I'm just going to tie a knot there. Okay, so I've tied my knot and, I, and now I'm just going to trim this. You can tie a bow, you can play around with it, but I usually just trim it off. And there's my bead. So quick, so easy. I'm not waiting for anything to dry. I can move on to making some more beads, but now I'm going to move on to making one of these tassels. Okay, I'm using some broken jewelry. So I have a chain here. I've got some jump rings. I've got this little cla uh, clasp. I'm not sure what it's called. Maybe a claw, something. And I have this little tassel. You can use a charm or anything to hang down at the end, or you don't even have to hang anything. You can just tie a knot. And I also have some beads. Now, 
with the beads, you have to make sure that the beads have a large enough opening for the chain or whatever you're using to go through. Okay, so the first thing that I do, it's a little bit tedious trying to get this chain through this bead. So I actually attach the chain to my needle and I just use a little bit of a thread. So I will loop the thread through the first loop on my chain. Okay, so that's looped through and now I will attach my needle. I will thread the needle. So I have my chain and my needle on my thread and I'm just going to tie a knot over here. Cut off that excess that I don't need. And now we've got something like this. So uh, you'll see what I mean. So now this I can easily thread through. And also the beads that I've chosen, I have to make sure that this can go through. And yes, this can go through very easily. So that's one thing to keep in mind when choosing your little bits and pieces. All right, so now on the other side of my chain, I'm going to attach this little clasp. And I'm just using a jump ring. Okay, so this part is a little bit fiddly, but I have to open my jump ring. And I'm going to pop this through. So that's on there. And I'm going to pop the other side of my chain through there. The length doesn't matter because we'll be cutting it off anyway. And now I'm just going to close this jump ring. All right, here we go. So on one side of my chain, I have this little clasp. And then on the other side, I have the needle with the thread. And now I'm simply going to, I want the bead to go first. So the bead will be sitting underneath the clasp. And then I'm going to use my fabric bead that I just made that goes on there like so. And then another bead, you can play around with this any way you want. You can add more beads, you can, you know, you can do so many different things, so many different variations. All right, so now this is all I'm going to pop on my, on my little tassel that I'm making. So now what I need to do is I'm going to cut off this chain, but I want to leave some space here because I like it that the chain is showing up here. So I just moved some of my, uh, I moved this down the chain and now I'm just going to cut, cut the chain. So actually, I just want to see, maybe I'll, I want to have about this much up the top. So I'm going to cut my chain here using these little pliers that I have. You can even use some scissors that, uh, you know, for this sort of stuff, you don't want to ruin your scissors. So. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to attach the tassel or whatever you're using, a charm or anything that you've got, and I need to attach that onto my little thing I'm making, a tassel. So I'm going to do that with another jump ring. So I need to open this up, and when you're opening them, don't open them this way, you open them to the side. I hope I'm making sense. All right, and now I am looping through my last little So I've looped that through my chain here and now I need to pop this one on there as well. Pop that there and now I'm just going to close the jump ring. And here we go. There we go. Very, very easy to make. And the variations of how you can do this are endless. So you can see in my little box over here, I have some beads that I didn't do anything with. So I can play around with them later. And, you know, I have some with just a little bit of gold thread on there. They don't have to be elaborate. This one also, there's nothing on there, you can see. So it's nice to have a little stash of these and then they can go onto my projects. As I'm working on projects, I can choose the correct color bead. Because I might want to do different things than just these tassels. But I really, really like how these look. I hope I've made sense. Now I'm just going to do one more bead. I'm going to use this little strip of fabric that I've got. So I want to get rid of all of the threads that are hanging. And I'm not even going to taper anything up here. I'm just going to leave it as it is use a little bit of my tacky glue so this fabric is very very thin upholstery fabrics are 
thicker so it will give you more substance to your bead and I can't close this. I am quite jittery right now because I, I had a huge coffee just before so I hope it's not coming across too much. And there we go, I just roll the bead and I like to get it off here straight away because sometimes it can get glued onto this. So I just get it off, put it in there and that's going to dry. You, I've seen people using straws um, and also paper straws as well. So once you roll your fabric onto a paper straw, let's say we're using a paper straw, you roll your fabric onto there like this, you can just leave it to dry on the paper straw and then you can just cut the sections like that. You can even cut this bead and have two beads. Um, but I don't have paper straws and I'm not I'm not going to go and buy them because I can do this without a paper straw. So I hope you guys feel, you know, inspired to go and make some fabric beads. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you in my next video. Bye!